Hey, I'm Ralph Schwartz. Welcome to the GeoTerex channel. I um, thought I'd uh, do a quick review on the uh, on the Denali uh, Pinnacle 40. Recently purchased it um, a few months ago now. You may have actually seen it on some of my on some of my videos. It's my uh, it's my gear bag and my go-to bag for any day trip. Um, pretty much, if I'm going for a walk, I'm grabbing this pack and using it. It's not a great pack, but I still love it. Um, some like it's missing features of some of the, the bigger packs, um, but uh, I, I I just I, I enjoy using it. Um, so first feature is the uh, the flat pack in the front here. Generally, I'm putting batteries and various things like that, which all lump down at the bottom. It's not ideal. Um, it has a, a top hood compartment, similar here. The problem I've got this packed out with, uh, with the usual padding. Um, problem is, is if I don't have much in here and I've got this stuff at the top for ease of use, it's hanging around. But like I said, I still still enjoy it. It's got a little, little clip there and a couple of pockets. Um, that's where I'm putting my charging bricks. Um, it's got a, uh, I don't know if the combined volume is 40 litres or this main compartment is 40 litres. Either way, it's got a big enough um, half package in it. Um, it's got a big enough area inside to put uh, drone, um, camera, or spare camera, um, a couple of GoPros. It's got the little uh, little water bottles, on, water pouches on the side with a strap so I can put a tripod in there. Um, sometimes I'm using a monopod as well, so one on either side, or, uh, or more often than not I've got two water bottles in there. It's got what I love about this, this feature. Um, it doesn't stick to your back, so you can go on uh, summer hikes and, and get a bit of a, a bit of a head of steam up and get a bit sweaty, and you're going to, uh, to not have the backpack stick to your back. Um, the strap system is okay. The, uh, for a day pack, it's perfect, and, and it's got narrow straps, which you'd expect. It's also got the um, sternum strap, but this, this feature here is fantastic. Two little hydration outlets um, where you, could, uh, you can quite comfortably put a, 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 a bladder inside. And it's got what in normal day packs would be a, a backpack section um, where you could put a bladder. The problem is, if you wanted to put a backpack in there, this, this curvature in here is going to bend it out of shape and possibly damage your screen. So you'd want to think about that and think that through. Um, it's it's built in the style of the um, of a, an expedition pack or a hiking pack, so it's only accessed from the top, and it's tight. Like you, you can't overfill this thing, even if you tried. Um, so generally, like I said earlier, it's my go-to pack. Um, if I'm going for a walk, this is the one I usually grab. Bigger, like I say on, on a previous video, bigger walks I'm taking the um, the McKinley or the uh, or the La Paz, but uh, quite happy with this one. Thanks for watching.